In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a Andy Warhol inspired pop art project using Photoshop. This is an original Andy Warhol artwork in which he used a photograph of Marilyn Monroe, converted it into a silk screen, and then printed it in all of these wild and crazy colors. This technique can be easily mimicked using Photoshop. So in Photoshop, choose um, an image that has a simple um, solitary subject. It can be your own photograph or a photo that you got from the internet. I'm going to crop down this image so that it's more focused on the bird. So to do that, I'm going to get the crop tool, the fifth one down here on the side, and I actually want my crop to be a square. So to do that, I'm going to hold down shift while I drag the box. And as I'm dragging it, I can also hold down the space bar, which allows me to move the selection. So I'm going to get the box just where I want it, and then click the check mark or click enter on the keyboard. Now that I have this crop to the size that I want, I'm going to go over here to the layers panel and get rid of the background and the padlock. So to do that, I'm going to double click the padlock icon and when this new layer box pops open, I'm going to click OK. So now it's been converted to layer 0 and it's unlocked. So I want to have four of these images of the hummingbird. So to do that, I need to give myself some more canvas space around this image. So I'm going to go to Image, Canvas Size, and change this from inches to percent. And I'm going to change the number on the top to 200 and on the bottom to 200. So we're going to make this 200% larger all the way around. You can use these anchor points to tell the computer where you want the new space to go. So I'm going to go ahead and click this arrow in the lower right corner, and that's going to put the space to the top and sides, and it's going to put the image down here in this corner. I'm going to click OK. And to make this fit on the screen, on the keyboard, click Control 0 that's the shortcut. To make copies of this, it's really easy. Just switch to the Move tool, hold down Alt, and click and drag a copy. Hold down Alt, click and drag a copy. Hold down Alt, click and drag. So now, over here in the Layers panel, I'm going to pull that off and you can see that I have four copies of that image. So now what I'm going to do is add gradient maps on top of all of these. So we've used gradient maps in a previous project in this class, so you may remember how to do that. So I am going to click um, either down here at the bottom and choose gradient map, or over here in the adjustments panel, you can click gradient map here. And the default color for the gradients is black and white. But I want it to be really colorful like the Andy Warhols. So I'm going to pop this open. And I see I have some color choices loaded, but I'm going to go ahead and load some more. So I'm going to open this menu, um, pop out menu on the side, and I'll add color harmonies 1 and append. And I will add color harmonies 2 and append. And let's take a look at those. That's pretty nice. Let's see, I'm going to um, also add, I think, simple and append those. And that's um, probably enough choices for now. So let's try, hmm, let's try this one. I'm just going to go ahead and, and click a few of these until I find one um, that I like. So 
uh, okay, I think that one looks pretty good. So I'm going to, um, what I don't like is that it's covering all of the images with the same um, color choices and I want to make all of them different actually. So to do that, what I'm going to do is um, clip this gradient map to only this copy right here. In order to do that, I'm going to hold down the Alt key and hover it in the area where the gradient map and the layer overlap. And when I get the overlapping circle symbol, I'm going to click. Now you can see I have this little down arrow pointing to layer 0, copy 3. So that means that this gradient map is only going to affect this layer that it's attached to. So now I'm going to go to layer 0, copy 2, and I'm going to add another gradient map. Pop open my choices and click through these until I find one that I like and um, I think I'm gonna go with that one right there so again I'm gonna hold down alt and hover the cursor over here until I get the overlapping circles and click so it only applies to that layer now I'm gonna go to the next one down gradient map choose some more colors And let's say I like um, these colors, but I want some more of this kind of pinkish color to show. So in order to do that, I'm going to click directly on this um, color bar right here, and I get all of these sliders. I'm going to make the red area larger, and I'm going to make some of these other areas smaller. So this is allowing me to control how much of various colors are in the image so I can get more of the red showing where I want it to. So once you get it how you want it, go ahead and click OK. So in order for this to uh, just affect that layer, again I'm going to hold down Alt click between the layers when the overlapping symbol shows up and now I'm going to do my last one. So click the gradient map, choose whatever colors you like that you think look good. Hmm, I kind of like, I like this one but I don't like so much red so maybe I will double click this and change the red to a different color. Like that purple color. Now I'm going to click OK and click OK. So now this is finished so I will go ahead and save as pop art just teen and save it as a Photoshop document. I'm on my laptop, so I'm just going to save it to the desktop, but you should save it to your W drive. Now, um, your choices for putting this on your website are to use the snipping tool or to save it as a JPEG. I'm going to go ahead and use the snipping tool. The snipping tool is um, this icon right here with the pair of scissors attached to it. And um, so this opened it, and I'm going to click Cancel for now, reopen Photoshop, get the snipping tool, click New, and it puts a transparent white veil over the desktop. And I'm going to click and drag the part of the desktop that I want to take a picture of, which is right here. So um, the snipping tool just grabbed that spot for me. So I can click Save, and I will call it Pop Art Justine. And I want to make sure that it's a JPEG, and click Save. And let's see where it put that on my desktop, which is right here. So now um, I can save this to my website. Again, make sure you don't you save it to your W drive. 
um, not your desktop. That's it for now.